are getting on the appetizer part of our meal today, and this is the shrimp. So this is peel and eat smoked shrimp. Don't forget all the recipes are gonna be on the ehardware.com of everything that we've done and what we do with what rub I used and everything. So we're gonna get these going and so we can have a little bite before uh, our meal. Okay, let's give a quick check on our shrimp and see how it's doing. We're also gonna give our sauce a stir after I find my spatula. There we go. Okay, so remember we put the shrimp in here. And we're at a low enough a temperature. That's what's great about the Traeger as well, where I can do this and it's not gonna kill my fingers. And we're pretty much about ready. These are gonna be done just a few minutes. Um, our sauce, that pan I won't touch. <laughs> but our, the shrimp's going to be ready when it is definitely, if you wanna look at your shrimp, it has now turned pretty much all white. So um, that's when you know there's no clarity to the shrimp anymore. It's gonna be done. Your shells have now changed color. You're looking at about, um, at the 225 degrees, you're looking at about 30 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes max on these. That's about it. So we're just gonna give our sauce another stir. And that's gonna to continue to cook. We're gonna leave this in the Traeger the whole time, even when we pull this shrimp. And then we're gonna to get to seasoning the salmon so we can get the salmon on the grill and uh, we can get that pasta put together. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna get that shrimp appetizer off the Traeger. We're gonna leave the sauce on so we can get started on getting our appetizers out today. Perfect. Peel and eat shrimp. This is a lot of fun for, you know, any outdoor activities, family get-togethers, anything barbecue, even if it's not barbecue, you know, based, it's just a nice uh, flavor explosion for you, for an appetizer. You can sauce these as well. When I marinated these, and again, don't forget, all these recipes will be on ehhardware.com, so you can do this at home, but um, I always, um, even for my competition, when I'm uh, doing my competitions, uh, my, sea my category is seafood, always. But I always marinate my shrimp the night before, so all those flavors can like go into the shrimp, go into the shell, have time to go into the shell, and uh, just so you have a burst of flavor in your mouth. But if you don't want to do it overnight, or even if you like extra flavor, you can actually um, grab your favorite sauce. So after you pull these off the grill, just toss a little bit of sauce with those as well, and then serve them, and just to get that extra barbecue flavor. This is not your typical serve with cocktail sauce, basically. So your cocktail sauce is now barbecue sauce. Now I did peel and eat. You don't have to do the peel and eat. You can use regular large shrimp. Don't get anything too small. You'll lose them in your grill. Um, so get the ones that are a little bit bigger. Keep that sauce smoking. We want that nice flavor in our Alfredo. So you can get it without the shell. I just did more of like the peel and eat because I leave the shell on, even the tail sometimes when I'm doing dishes, because the, the shell actually adds so much flavor in your shrimp, even when you're cooking it, which make, and, and sometimes we're like, don't wanna go through the, the peel part, but uh, if you're doing peel and eat shrimp in a restaurant, you're gonna love to substitute this in place. So let's get these started and plated so everyone can enjoy. Mm -hmm. 